I am going to start uh, addressing things now. And uh, my name is Nick Williams, for those of you that don't know who I am. Uh, and uh, I have on the call with me Tim James, my trusted associate. And uh, we are going to walk you through the Medicare Appointment Setters program, how it works, the, the most uh, common questions uh, and important questions that were asked, what the cost is, and then we're going to also, we're going to give away a, a telemarketer, which is, which is a $800 fee, $795, and uh, at the end of the meeting, so for those that stay on to the end, we are going to uh, kind of raffle that off, so to speak, and um, and it's just picking a name from the from the uh, bowl, and uh, so we are also going to send an invitation to everybody to sign up today at a discount. But for, again, my name is Nick Williams. I'm the owner of Medicare Millionaire. Uh, if you're not familiar with us, we have a YouTube channel that we teach people how to sell insurance, Medicare specifically, but also some other products, senior products, if you will. We are here today uh, to, uh, again, to discuss our Medicare Appointment Setters program, and that's its own separate company. By the way, let me preface this, a couple things. Number one, uh, hey, Tim, we still got sound coming in, uh, but uh, that may be you, Tim. But let me preface this. Number one, you do not need to sign up with any programs, uh, like do business with us in any area uh, to, uh, we don't require you to sign up for multiple programs. Each program that we have stands independent on its own and you can sign up for the Medicare appointment setters and you, you're not obligated to sign up for any other service we have. That stands alone. So I want you guys to understand that. Um, the other, uh, item that I want to address that's important. I'm going to talk about cost, cost of leads in this, in this presentation. The cost is very low. So that's not to be confused with cheap leads that aren't good. I assure you, it's low cost leads that are good leads. So that's, that's a common misnomer when people see that the, the leads, the lead cost, and I'm going to, again, go in detail on the lead cost. People see that, wait a minute, the cost of these leads is quite low. They must not be good. It's almost an inherent uh, one plus one equals two, but that's not the case. There are low cost leads because, and I'll explain why, but they are quality leads. So, so what we do and the way this works is we procure, train, and deliver to you a telemarketer. And that telemarketer is, has all the support. I'm gonna bring Tim James into the call in a little while, and he's going to discuss the support system that telemarketer has. But they go through an extensive uh, training system before they can ever, ever qualify to be a telemarketer for you, the agent. Um, so we're going to go through that support system, but understand these, these telemarketers are trained. They are Filipino telemarketers, okay? They are trained and they are effective, okay? So, so we will train them and then we will also work with you to make sure that you are well adjusted to the program, that you can manage the leads properly and that you can manage the telemarketer properly. Because as I said, we, we train a telemarketer and turn the telemarketer over to you. So let me explain that. The telemarketer works for you, not for us. We, as a matter of fact, you can completely remove us from the equation if you so desire. That would be foolish uh, because we are providing ongoing support in the form of Facebook groups for both you, Facebook groups for the telemarketer, ongoing training for both you and the telemarketer, Zoom calls for you and the telemarketer. So we're providing all this training, but we are turning this telemarketer over to you so you own the lead system. To us, that makes sense. You know, you're not subject to this third party that controls your future 
from the standpoint of how your lead program works, uh, at least this component of your lead program. So, and by the way, these telemarketers can, can be utilized any way you so desire. We have a template and we will train and be consistent with that template, but you may get other leads, like perhaps you get direct mail leads, you can have your telemarketer follow up on those. This is your employee, if you will. And so you, do, you can manage that. Our most successful telemarketers just stay in our footprint in our template. Um, our most successful agents, I should say. So we're going to deliver this telemarketer to you and we are going to support you and we're gonna support the telemarketer. The telemarketer, and here's the first question that the agents will ask me is, well, how many leads am I going to get? We're, the answer is at a minimum four. Now, some of these telemarketers are gonna get six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 uh, per day, okay? So, so, but we, at a minimum of four, and when I say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, it depends on where you're at, what part of the country, it depends on you and how you work with your telemarketer. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to elaborate on that in a moment. Um, the uh, so all these telemarketers okay everybody's not going to have the very best telemarketer because that's that's impossible but with training and with consistent coaching they all become very good if they're not good we will replace them so let's say you start in the program and you get a telemarketer and it's like hey this just isn't working out well we will replace them we have no problem with that. And, and you know what? It's not perfect. It doesn't always work out perfectly. But again, we're working there with you. We're not going to abandon you. We're going to make sure that you have a telemarketer that is successful. And through communication, and let me, I said I was going to elaborate on that. It's important for you to communicate with your telemarketer on a daily basis. So here's what it looks like. Each day, you start your day, your telemarketer is starting their day as well. And in doing so, they're, you're going to start your day by, we suggest, and this is where agents go wrong with this, that you say, hey, good morning. Like my telemarketer for years uh, was Rachel. I would talk to Rachel on Skype. That's their preferred means of communication. You can put them on Zoom if you want, but Skype is, uh, you know, in, in Asia, they use Skype quite a bit. So it's, hey, good morning. You did a great job yesterday. And, 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 we, and I want you to know that I appreciate you. Here's what you could do to perhaps tweak it, make it a little bit better. And, you know, good luck today. If you need anything, call me. That's it. That type of approach. Now, understand, this is your telemarketer. So, and also understand that this could be the most important person that you have in your business because they're, they are potentially the person that's giving you all these wonderful leads that you can call and make sales. So you want to talk to them. I, I spent a lot of time, so I'm a salesman, I'm a Medicare agent for a, well over a decade selling nothing but Medicare all day, every day. I would, and I've used this system, and I'll, and I'll reference that, I'll give you a history on that as well. Uh, I, I would put that, my phone, in that, um, that con the, the windshield uh, thing, you kind of, it has a little suction cup and it holds your phone on it, phone holder. And I would just put Skype, and you can call on Skype from anywhere, anytime. Driving down the road, if I'm on the road, you can use these leads for phone or uh, or face-to-face, uh, -face. it doesn't matter. If, it's, if you're on the phone sales, it's even easier. But even if I'm on the road, in between calls, I would just hit Skype and, um, and say hi, <laughs> you know? How's it going? Stuff like that. Because again, this is maybe your most valuable, uh, the most valuable member of your team, it may be. Uh, and they, listen, here's, a, here's something that you should understand. These Filipino telemarketers really have pride in their relationship with an American. They want to do well. It is a source of pride for them. It is a source of, they know that, that this relationship can feed their family. And I'm going to go into cost, 
But understand this, what you're paying them, what we suggest you pay them is a fair wage and you are making a difference in their life. I assure you, the Philippines is somewhat of a third world country and somewhat poor. Uh, it's not as bad as some third world countries and they are working hard, you know, they're, out, they're an outsourced country. This is their means of income. And so, so that's important. Now, I did say I would talk about the hit my history. I've been using this system for 12 years, 12 years from the very beginning. My very first sales call with in, in the Medicare insurance industry was in this exact same business model, this exact same business model. OK, as a matter of fact, the telemarketer said almost exactly, exactly the same thing. And I was with a big corporation. I'm not going to go into the names of corporations, but they still use that system. They, it, it's, a, it's one of the biggest Medicare uh, uh, career agencies in America. And that's what they use. And that's where I started. And, it, and in time, I went on my own. The system worked. I just copycatted it and I developed it with Filipino telemarketers in, in lieu of American telemarketers. And, and it has evolved. And I've... I've always been successful, always, always, always been successful. And anybody that works hard using this system will be successful. So I wanted to tell you my history with doing this. It, it goes back a long way. And there are thousands and thousands of agents and salespeople across America, tens of thousands, and probably thousands in the Medicare alone that use this successfully. Okay, so that's important for you to understand. Now, as far as cost, the ongoing cost, we charge a one-time fee of $795. That's it. We are going to send a link for a discount there after the meeting. And I'll let Tim explain that a little bit more. But after the meeting, we're going to send a link for a discount So for those people on this call. It's $619. That's comprised of $89 for the dialer. So there's the telemarketer is working off a dialer, which you have full access to. It's... It, 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 it's your system. Again, you own this system. You have full access to this system. You'll be able to listen to the, to the calls. You'll be able to look at reports. You'll be able to monitor this situation. Uh, you can, you can I, I'm, if you use this properly, you have all this functionality. You can do live transfers, everything that you want to do. Live transfers don't usually work for individual agents because if you're on a call, you can't get a live transfer. People get excited when we talk about live transfers but understand that fact, that if you're on a call, you can't get a live transfer. So it doesn't work well for one agent, um, unless you can devise a system in which is better, but you have that ability to do so. $89 for that four line dollar. It's $120 for the telemarketer for a week. So $3 an hour is the, is the pay, the wage that the telemarketers are expecting, and that's where we're, you know, that's the minimum to start them. Now, you, if they're good, you can raise that, and, and you better bonus them. If they're doing a great job, that's $120 a week. So remember, I said $619 a month, $120 a week. That's $480 a month, okay? And so we've got $89 for the dollar, $480 for the telemarketing, and it's $50 for the data because they need data. So that, that the data is downloaded into the dialer. And by the way, your telemarketer is trained to do all this. You don't have to do any of this. When you receive that trained telemarketer, they can do all this. In theory, you could just sit back and collect leads, in theory. But again, you, you want to be involved because you want to make this something special for this person and you want a special business, right? You want to build this lead system. So put a little time into it. Um, and uh, okay, that's it. Cost wise, there are no hidden costs. The only thing for phone, people that are working over the phone, you're gonna need a CRM. We have a CRM that we can talk about on another call with you individually, but it is uh, quite effective and it does everything that you need to do. And when I say that, because you're gonna need a strong follow-up system when you're selling on, over the phone. Face-to-face, -face, you might want a CRM, but it's not absolutely necessary. Okay, let's talk about, okay, let me, 
again, reiterate this, it's $619 to run that telemarketer for one month. So if they're getting four leads a month, four, four leads a day, that's 20 a week times four, that's, that's 80 leads a month for $480 plus your, well, that's, that's for your hourly rate and a total cost, 480 for the, okay, let me, let me not confuse you, 480 for the dialer, the Filipino telemarketer, 89 for the dialer, dialing platform, so this is an online dialer, and then $50 for the data. That's it. There are no surprises. That's it. That's your ongoing cost, month after month after month. If you want to be a big hitter, maybe you want two telemarketers, and there's, there's that. Um, so, I think we're clear there. I, I, I hope that, we're, that you guys follow that. And we're going to do a Q&A so you can ask questions about that. Now there's compliance. This is the big question. Everybody wants to talk about, well, wait a minute. I'm selling Medicare Advantage and you cannot telemarket for Medicare Advantage. Well, if you sell Medicare Advantage and, and you're on a call and you've talk, called somebody because our calls are for Medicare, primarily Medicare supplement calls, but a lot of these people, they don't have Medicare supplements. And they're gonna say, well, I've got, a Medi I've got Humana or whatever, and I, that's what I wanna talk about. Well, you simply say, and, and again, this is, I want you guys to understand, there's no gray area here. You, this is fact, there is no, this is not to be misinterpreted. In any way, shape, or form, you are perfectly with, compliant to, if that person brings up that Medicare Advantage, to scope them and do a compliant Medicare Advantage presentation and sell them. Okay, I'm probably gonna get somebody who's gonna have a question about that, but I want you to understand this. I don't care who's told you what. <laughs> I'm gonna be arrogant now. <laughs> Forgive me, but I hear this all the time. It doesn't matter what anybody's told you. It doesn't matter what your interpretation of the rules are. This is correct. You are certainly helping your customer and, and you are compliant that when, when that individual brings up Medicare Advantage or if the conversation goes in that direction and you feel like, not that you feel like, it, that they bring that up in some way, shape or form, you can scope them and sell Medicare Advantage. That's it, there's no question. I've been through this with lawyers, I've been through this with compliance departments and anybody else that says different, quite frankly, they do not know what they're talking about. And that's, that's the, final, the final word on that. But again, you can ask me about it. <laughs> uh, as far as other products, you can sell other products with this as well, with the telemarketer. Some people say, hey, can I have them do final expense? Sure. What we like to use a four product progression here, what we do is we sell Medicare, final expense, indemnity, and annuity. So we go through a progression of products. So we don't need to, to telemarket for other for other products, we just have that ability to transition. So, but you can have, do whatever you want. But understand this, if you go into other directions with this telemarketer, then we cannot help you as much. And here's one other point to make there. If, if we deliver the telemarketer to you, they have a script, they know what they're doing. We want you to allow them to work and develop that before you change things. So many times agents want to change everything right away. <laughs> Just leave it alone, and I assure you they will produce. If you want to change things, introduce things later to change things. We have agents that, are, that said, you know what, I'm going to use my, my telemarketer for final expense. And that's what they do. And they are successful. But you've got to understand that we don't train them for final expense. We'll give them the script and everything, and we'll help out and you'll be able to attend all the, the Zoom meetings and you'll be a part of the Facebook group and, and your telemarketer will do the same. But again, you're, wor you're working a little bit outside the template so it's harder for us to be responsible for the, for the performance. And um, let's see, I've covered a lot uh, and I'm trying to move fast. I hope, I hope this is uh, helpful to everybody. I, I, I'm sure that you're getting the picture here. But I'm going to bring Tim in, and Tim, I want you to, well, as, as, we've, as we have planned, Tim's going to go over the resources that we utilize 
to train and support you and the telemarketer. So Tim, do you want to uh, do that and uh, take yep. over there? Yep, I got it. Um, I need a drink, man. <laughs> of <laughs> hey, water. Me, I'm going to, I'm, I'm muting you next. So make sure to remember to unmute yourself. <laughs> no, I, I'm, you can unmute yourself. But um, okay, so I'm the program director of Medicare appointment setters. And so basically what that means is I, I handle all of the training. I oversee the training. I've developed all the, the training series. We, we handle the group interviews, everything. I, I'm, I'm behind everything and I make sure that everything is operating smoothly every day. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen and kind of show you what just briefly what our process looks like. Um, and how we ensure that we get you the best telemarketer and, and what they kind of go through and how we, we kind of stand in the background and make sure that you guys are, um, you know, getting what you need and are well equipped. Okay, so give me one second. Uh, share screen. Okay, can everybody see the screen? Just want to make sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, so so when you sign up for the program, so, so I handle agent, the agent end as well as uh, the telemarketing end. And so when you sign up to the program, you'll get access to master agency training portal. And in here, there'll be step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your accounts. There'll be an onboarding form that you have to fill out so we can place you with the telemarketer. And then there's all these uh, videos. The videos are just for your reference. It's, it's so that you're, you're able to manage your telemarketer effectively goes over like how to pay your telemarketer goes over you know how to oversee when they pull data you know stuff that you would you would want need to know or or how to um how to look into their calls and make sure that there's no discrepancies um although they are trained to do all of this stuff this is just more for your information um and then what will happen is um you'll once you fill out that form we will um we'll find a telemarketer one of our trained telemarketers that we feel is ready to go with an agent and um, basically, uh, we, will, we will reach out to you. Um, we'll set up a group chat in, chat in Skype and um, we'll kind of be there for support. And then you just take off with the system. Um, so now I wanna show you really quickly kind of what we do on the, um, the telemarketing end. So, so we, we, we run ads, we, we do a bunch of different things to get a large quantity of people that are interested in working with us. And the reason we do that is through our internal data, we have seen that, um, you know, the top one out of six uh, applicants are, are, are top performing telemarketers. And so what we do is we always try to make sure that we have at least six times the amount of applicants per agent that we anticipate that's going to come on. And we screen them very thoroughly. So before they even get access to this training library, we have listened to their, their call recordings. We've done an interview. Um, we've looked at their resume. We've done all that normal hiring stuff, right? And then what happens is they get access into this training library. And they have to go through all of these series and watch every video. Um, and, you know, we go over dialect, inflection, um, basic expectations and policies so that everyone is on the same page when they get turned over to you, um, you know, rebuttals, just everything that they would need to know on pulling data. Um, if they, if uh, an agent has Webster CRM, which is our CRM, we have them cross trained. So if you decide to use our CRM, they're already ready to use it, although it's not necessary. Um, and then, you know, we just start our entire system. And then what will happen is once they've completed all of this stuff, they, they have to get, um, they, they go through an exam. And if they pass that exam, um, they are then eligible to be, go through another group interview session and then, you know, and then they're eligible to be placed. So, so that's what they have to go through to get to the agent. And then once they're on board, um, we, we provide support for them. You know, they get access to, I'm trying to get to this, but Zoom is being weird. Um, you know, they get access to a private Facebook group, just like you guys do. And, you know, we add motivation in there. We update them thing uh, on things, um, you know, updates, trainings, all this stuff. They, they get access to that. Here's a training video I did for them. So we're really, really involved in making sure that these telemarketers are perform performing well. And we want them to feel like they're a part of a, of, of a business, even though they're working for you. We're kind of there in the background to make sure that they're doing a good job for you. Because what we want is we want agents to be happy. 
um, we want you to come back and buy more telemarketers. And, um, you know, we want to just ramp up this business. So on your end, um, you would also get access to our, uh, we have a private Facebook group. This is uh, uh, where all of our agent, uh, current agents come in and we can share resources and data and all the stuff that needs to be, you know, talked about or, or any questions can be addressed. And we also, when you, when you sign up with our program, we do live trainings uh, via Zoom every Monday night um, at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And that's where we do client check-ins. We'll do little, little trainings. We'll answer questions. And you have access to that so long as you're active in this program. So we really, we're handing a, ge a lead generation system over to you. We, we've trained the telemarketers. We've got everything in place for you. But we're kind of there in the background to help you as you need help to make sure that you're, you're seeing success with the program, or if you need a replacement or whatever, I handle all of that for our agents. Does that make sense? Nick, are you satisfied with yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. And, um, and I, I, I think it, it, I wanna reiterate one thing, and that is that you guys are running, this is your business. And when I, when I say reiterate, and by the way, we are, uh, we're, quickly approaching the uh, Q&A. So if somebody has questions, they can put the questions in the chat. And I think there may be in there. Uh, okay, so I see questions are going in the chat. And also you could raise your hand and we will uh, answer for individual uh, questions as well. I wanna reiterate, we're helping you build your own business. So it's almost like the analogy that I would use is that whether you're going to be a career agent with somebody and or you're going to be a broker you know you, as a broker you own your business and your renewals here you own your lead system and that is the biggest problem tim would you agree with that the biggest problem we have with agents and their success is that they don't communicate a hundred percent the the agents that i we, we actually have one of our agents on here that is successful uh, Joey Turner, and he probably could attest to this, but I, I, I know that he communicates with his telemarketer uh, every day. Um, you know, he'll he'll pick up where we left off. Like, so if he hear if there's a, a rebuttal she doesn't know how to do, she'll she'll direct her and say, hey, you need to answer it this way. You know, he's really um, involved with that, and he bonuses her and all that stuff. And his telemarketer is uh, literally the top telemarketer we have. She produced nine, uh, 39 appointments in one shift. So um, it's one of these things where we can give you a baseline, but you've got to pick up and, and manage your employee. So, so that's, uh, again, that's, that is the critical element to your success here. Now, I see some questions about the TCPA compliance. It is compliant. And... And we do, it has all the, all the uh, comp components that a compliant lead system would have in it. So of course it is, the, the systems that we use are compliant. So that's something that uh, kind of sort of goes without saying. We've been operating, I've been running this for four years and with no problems and no agents that have worked with me have had problems, neither. And so, uh, and I'm not the only player in this game, so to speak. There are many other companies that do the same thing, uh, perhaps not like we do it. Nobody quite does it like we do it, but, uh, but there are many people that telemarket and, and use a similar type of approach, but I don't know anybody that really has problems. Um, so that's, that should answer that. Let me go to the next question. Oh, uh, by the way, Tim, Tim is going to do the drawing. Tim, you're gonna do the drawing, right? When we get done to Q and A, yep, for the telemarketer. Oh, by the way, that telemarketer, you have to pay. You have to pay for the ongoing cost. We just eliminate the fee. So we're not pay. We're not paying your telemarketer's wages. <laughs> okay, is this targeting T sixty fives? You can target T sixty fives or sixty six to seventy five, wh whichever you prefer. And I have found that people will. Some people gravitate towards that T sixty five and are successful. And some people gravitate towards 66 or 67 to 75, and they are also successful. We have scripts for each of these. Uh, we have scripts for our primary scripts for are for phone sales and or face to face. And for both of them, 
turning 65 or, or the uh, switchers, which are 66 to 75. I call their switching, switchers because they already have insurance and you know, they're gonna switch. Um, but so yes, it does target 65s and everybody else. How many states should someone be in? There are some core states. If you're going to sell, uh, there, again, I, I can't always remember these, but it's, it's like Michigan, uh, Michigan, Illinois, uh, not Ohio. Ohio is the one you cannot call at all. So this is not effective for Ohio, uh, unless somebody, they have to request that you call them. Uh, I can't remember all the states. <laughs> That is so, but there's like six or seven core states, but you go down there, these, there's seven core states. You add in Florida, Texas, and California, if you so desire, for unlimited leads. But when I say core states, these would be states that are favorable to uh, you, the agent, and, um, and also product-wise. Because you can't, if you're selling over the phone, which is what the question is in reference to, you can't contract with every company. Our, our approach is that you contract with five companies, and if you can do these core states, those five companies will cover those core states. Okay, so, um, so and let's see. So basically, they are setting appointments for, fu for a future date. What is the show rate? The show rate probably isn't fantastic, nor is it bad. It's the show rate you would have for any lead. And um, all, all, okay, in our script, here's how we do this. We set the appointments for tomorrow. That's how we do it. In an ideal situation and as this program works, so it is, it's not an ideal situation, it's how the program works. We book today for tomorrow because seniors are, for, are forgetful and they uh, don't prioritize, okay, I'm gonna say they don't prioritize agents by any means. They're forgetful, they have some timers or Alzheimer's, you hope not Alzheimer's, but a lot, of, a lot of them have some timers, I call it. They, uh, if, if, if their neighbor wants to go to the store and says, calls them up and says, hey, you wanna go to the store with me and you're gonna call them or come by, they may very likely go to the store because that's an opportunity for them to get out. It's just the way it is. And you could have direct mail leads and get to the door and, and people that are on this call know this. They'll say, I didn't send that in. You'd be like, but ma'am, this is your signature. <laughs> and this, not, not me. So there's no, no such thing as perfect, but it's fair. It's very fair uh, as far as the show rate. And uh, again, we're setting today for tomorrow. That's how we do it. And we do have a, we do have a presentation, uh, or sh shall I say, not a presentation, we do have an approach that we can share with you. Uh, and that approach is we set our appointments for AM, PM. You get your telemarketer going at a, at a good, healthy pace, okay? So they're, so they're getting, say, if, they, if we can get them up to where they're doing eight, nine leads a day, uh, if you're in a tough area and you want to stay, you know, and you, you, but you, you're getting good leads, but there's not as many, maybe you want to go out every other day. But most of the, for mo in most cases, you would go out every day and you would, uh, I, what I do is, I, I have the appointment set for a.m. or p.m. That's it. Not an exact time. And I, I, I don't want to leave the, the office unless I have eight, eight to ten appointments. There are exceptions, of course. And I just want to plug the, them into a routing program like Root For Me or Road Warrior or something similar to that. And I optimize for most efficient route. And I could, I've kind of sort of get there when I get there. Now, some people would say, well, wait a minute, you're not going to get there at the right time. Well, you know, most of the time I'm not. But if I'm early, I, they, and they may say, well, you're not supposed to be here to till, to, until 2 p.m. I get there at 11. I say, yeah, well, you were next up on my route, so I just thought I'd stop by now. How's it going? You know, uh, it's, it, so if I'm on the road, that's how I do it. And generally, I don't have a problem. I don't find a much a, a big difference in uh, the show rate as somebody referenced it before. I just, uh, but I need to be on my calendar because it, a lot of agents will set two appointments or three appointments in a day and try to show up at that time. So if I have an appointment at 10 o'clock, 
10 a.m. and my next one is at 11.30 and I get to the 10 a.m. and they're not home, which will happen. Agents that work in the senior market that, have, that are honest and have experience will tell you they won't be home. What are you going to do for an hour and a half? You know, you go to the next appointment and, they, and it's not uncommon that they won't be there unless you refine the system over time when you get your, when you get your system operating smoothly, then you, maybe you can add more controls to it. But the first thing to do is get it running smoothly and become successful and, and work numbers. Okay, if I'm late, they'll say, you're late. And I'll say, yes, I was busy, but I'm here for you now. You know, it's not that big of a deal. It really is not. So just to give you a little bit of the philosophy on how I do it, and I've done this su successfully for years. And not only do I do, have I done it this way, but many, many, many agents that I've worked with and trained do it the same way. And they just don't have problems. The workers don't have problems. All right, does the total cost include the pay for the telemarketer or is that separate? Yeah, I kind of botched, butchered or botched the numbers. It's $619 per month, that's it. There's no gray area. That's all the cost, that includes everything. That's out the door. <laughs> <laughs> we heard, can I, hey, Tim, I don't know if you heard that, there was a car, somebody, on a, it sounded like a car salesman when we, we first uh, got on the line. Did you hear that? I did. And by yes. the way, so by the way. It's, it's all, it, it's out the door, you know. So, but ahead, so all the operational cost is paid to third parties, not us. We don't collect right. anything other than that one-time fee, which gets you your six-month replacement guarantee, access, you know, everything that we talked about. So, so we collect one fee and that's it. Yes. So again, it, it, it's pure cost. There is, there's no gray area. There's no hidden costs, no surprises. Now, again, I want to reiterate, if your telemarketer does a good job, you've got to give them a bonus. If they do a good job, they're going to, they're going to want a bonus. You know, $3 an hour. I've had people say to me, aren't you taking advantage of overseas labor? Well, I'll tell you what, pay them nothing and see how good that does them. They are appreciative of $3 an hour. More is better, okay? But that, that uh, taking advantage of low cost labor thing is nonsense as well. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Hey, Nick. Watch a previous video mentioned Ohio is not being a great state for this. What states are the best for a telemarketer? You know, I've done extremely well in, in South Carolina. Uh, Florida is a tough state for everything. Texas is a great state. Michigan, um, Michigan, uh, Missouri, uh, Illinois, uh, you go down, it's those Midwest states are really good. You go down through uh, like Kentucky and the Southern states, uh, Georgia is good. Uh, California, Tim, we've had a lot of success in California, haven't we? Yes, and Washington. And Washington state, yeah. Um, so there's not really a best state. I tell you what, if you're selling over the phone, you have that luxury, but the people selling in their backyard, they, they tend to be successful without, you know, it's just, you know, it's the coaching that you give your, your telemarketer. Uh, sometimes it's a little tough in somebody's backyard. It might be just an area that's inundated. We don't know everything all the time. And sometimes we find out it's a little difficult and we, we work with you and fight through it and, um, and make it work, you know, um, let's see. Let me go on. What's the answer rate for calling back a lead on a set appointment? I don't know the answer to that, Tim. Um, for them to answer, well, we know the closing rate for phone sales is somewhere between five to 20%, depending on the agent. So you can yeah. probably extrapolate, you know, that, that data. Yeah. That five to 10% probably more, more is more accurate. If you're just, if you're coming out of the gate, okay, you're going to have to work extra hard and to make, to be successful. Those more experienced agents will experience those other num those higher numbers. All right. Do we enter data into the dialer? Okay, no. Again, your telemarketer is trained to do everything. This is where sometimes there's a glitch up front. You know, because you, you, just like an agent, you train them how to do stuff, you train them on everything, and then what they do is they start asking you the same old questions all over again. Every once in a while, we have those situations. But they're trained. They're trained fairly well. I would say 
80 to 90 percent of them once they start they know what they're doing they can pull the data you this is turnkey you don't have to worry about every little detail but you will want to follow up on them you will want to check up on those telemarketers because hey they're in the philippines uh they're there's the same people as americans okay so you'll get some good eggs and some bad eggs you don't watch them and they might go to sleep on you and it's true isn't it tim super true yes it is yeah so you don't enter any data what is the monthly cost outs outside of the telemarketer pay okay those two costs it's 480 for the telemarketer three dollars per hour 40 hours a week 160 hours a month 480 dollars that's one fee the second fee is the dollar 89 the third fee is the data 50 619 dollars is the system best for phone or face-to-face -face? i've I, i've done phone sales and face-to-face -face over the over the years um, I would, I've done probably more face-to-face -face than phone sales. I love it for face-to-face, -face. Uh, but we have people that are crushing it over the phone. I mean, literally crushing it. And um, so, you know, can you get a better lead? Yeah, but you're going to pay $30 a lead. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's where, that's the magic of this. And I, that, when I said up front, um, they're inexpensive leads, but they're not cheap leads. They're not bad leads, they're not ba poor leads. Here's the thing, you could go and spend 20, 30, 40, $50 a lead or more even um, and lose all your money. And people have done this on this call, I'm sure, and it's like, son of a gun. But you say another word at the end there, I just lost all my money, this company did nothing for me. Here you will control this. Remember, these, pe these people answered the phone once for the telemarketer. So we know it's a real number. They'll answer the phone again, right? Is that what you say, Tim? They answered the phone once. Yes. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> well, Tim. Well, hold on, let me, let me elaborate on that really quick. I know we don't need you to. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead if you'd like. Well, I was just gonna say that's, you know, that's one of the, the big advantages versus like Facebook leads. Facebook leads, everything gets auto-populated and you try to call them and they're not going to pick up and you got to try to reach them through email or texting and who yeah. knows, but you know, with, in this situation, not only have the, uh, the prospects agreed to an appointment to talk about Medicare, uh, but they've already picked up the phone. Yes. So, yeah. So it's, and it's and listen, every, for those people to call, we are as transparent as you can be. We will level with you on everything. There's not a whole lot of like, uh, stuff going on in the back room here. I mean, this, what we say is what happens. And um, so I, compa comparatively speaking, I'd rather do business with us than anybody else. <laughs> How's that, Tim? It's not biased at all. <laughs> not biased at all. Can we see the CRM on this call? Uh, Tim, you, hold on a sec, how much time we got? I'm gonna keep this, we've got 14 minutes. Tim, can you give like three or four minutes? Yes. Um, so. You, you want me to pull it up and share? Well, you had it on your screen before. Okay. Right. Webster CRM does everything all these other CRMs do. Most of you don't know, but these CRMs are, are just on one platform, kind of like WordPress for websites. There's, there's, a, there's a platform for CRMs. They're all the same. Ours is better than most. I say that because we have an onboarding system where we actually spend time with you, significant amount of time in showing you how the CRM works. And I'm sorry to take, take your thunder from you, Tim. I hope you don't mind. Oh, it's <laughs> I, asked, okay. I asked you to explain it and then I talk over you. Yeah, but, so, go ahead. So, so if you, we, we do uh, calls every Wednesday. Um, so if you want to go to WebsterCRM.com and get like a demo, we, we do live, uh, you know, demos every Wednesday and you can book a time. It has all the features there, but basically the way we built out the CRM, we built it around our lead sources. So if you, if you decide to go the route with, um, you know, using our telemarketing services, it's completely built around that. So the telemarketers are cross-trained, uh, they can drop the leads in the forms, and then we've built... We've kind of built the automations based on how you would best work those leads. We've also done it for other lead sources, such as like, you know, Facebook, it integrates with that. 
you have a website that's already built, funnels that are already built, you have a calendar system, you can uh, do ringless voicemail drops, you can, you can literally do cold calling and, and prospecting. It's a single line dialer, but you can, you can follow up with your, um, your leads with an auto dialer. It has everything. It has rep reputation management. Um, you can tag- It has a website. It has a Medicare website. For those of you that don't have a website, it comes with a website. And it is a, Tim, uh, if you pull that up, I'll take over, pull up that website and show people the website if you would, if you can. And um, because look, you, if you're selling over the phone, you want a website. You want to direct somebody, your client somewhere. Um, we can, a recorded e example, we don't have that on this call. We're trying to do too much here. So, but we can help you with that. Somebody asked for a recorded call. Um, again, we're, we're kind of, we don't want to try to do too much and then, uh, fu you know, fudge it. Can I assign appointments among multiple agents? Yes, you may. It's your telemarketer. Do whatever you want. How about TCPA compliance? Uh, I've already answered that. How many hours of telemarketing? I've answered that 160 hours a month. You're paying the telemarketer $3 an hour, which is $480, 160 times three. So Tim. Do you have yes. that? Yep, I got it up. Give me one second. Let me yeah, pin myself. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nick, I'm going to remove you from the pin for a second, and then I'm going to share my screen. All right, really quickly. So this is what your what your pipe what your CRM would look like. You've got all these cool features, but I'm going to specifically show you the website, what's included with it, and it, it's completely plug and play. Oh, I'm under the wrong account. Give me one. Oh, there you go. One second. Uh, okay, so right. that's why I <laughs> want to do too much of this. <laughs> but we tried. We tried. Um, oh, here we go. Agency we go. website. I thought it's a. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we support agencies, but this is the, the basic template. So you, you've got a fully built website. It's plug and play. So basically when you sign up, your phone number will get populated where the website is supposed to be. Um, your logo will populate there and you, you, you know, you can customize this out however you want. Your pictures, you know, would, would upload there and it's, it's fully built out. So, um, yeah. everything so it's, it's, right it's a respectable website and, um, it's a respectable website. And it, it's something that's necessary if you're selling over the phone. But again, somebody asked about that, and uh, there you go. Are the follow-up systems built in? They're built into the CRM, yes, they are, they are. Uh, if, is there anybody that has, a, uh, has any questions they want to ask versus what we've seen here on the chat? They can, uh, if you go down to the bottom, it says reactions, and you can raise your hand or something there, or something. But not or something, you just go to the bottom of the screen and you can um, click reaction, click the reaction button and it has a thing there that says raise your hand. If nobody has any questions, and I take it that that's it, I will give a, I'll give a last call for questions. There you go. No more questions. Oh, wait, we, we got one, Renee Shannon. Renee. Hey, Nick. Um, what is the cost of the CRM? The CRM is... It's a $395 setup fee, okay? And it's $129 per month. And that's it. That, that's a very affordable system. Um, it, it works well. It, it is, uh, it's just a really good system. It really is. And here's the thing, we have support. Like, other people charge more. We, we turn the system over to you. It's your system, but we're giving you support here as well. We have the Webster Wednesdays and um, we have a Facebook group for that as well, where people support each other with that system. The most important thing for you is that you know how to use it. That's why that onboarding is going to take so much that costs money because we're not going to sell it. We did it where we just sell it, but it doesn't, these, these CRMs just don't work. I've had these CRMs over the years, Radius Bob and whatever, all these, these other CRMs. If you don't know how to use it, it's ineffective. But if you, but this system, first of all, it is affordable, but it's customizable as well. We have them sending out mail 
And I love this feature in the CRM. We're kind of doing a presentation for a CRM here, which I did not intend, and we'll get back. To, I want to focus on the telemarketer, but um, it'll send out a birthday card. It'll send out, you know, a Fourth of July card, and I think that's important. You know, I think it's real important. You once you build your clients, that's why everybody should have it. So this is not. Some of these CRMs are client acquisition CRMs. It's everything's loaded up front, but it's the back end that matters. And the back end is, it, it's critical that you develop this book of business because we know we have high persistency, but we want to get referrals. We, wanna, we want to keep that renewal rate of our policyholders extremely high, and that's how we do it. So I, I hope I answered your question. So um, let's see, a physical card. Do you have leads in Spanish? No, we do not. A physical card? Physical car. I'm not sure what you're asking there. Oh, he's talking about the mailing system when it gets mailed out. Oh yeah, a year. physical card. Yes. So we have a third party that does mailings, and then we also have um, and we have that uh, we have that integrated into our CRM. So yes, the, you do nothing, uh, but a car birthday cards go out. I like Fourth of July cards. I like Thanksgiving cards, and people don't get Christmas cards anymore. I don't think I have any friends anymore because I hardly get any Christmas cards. I'm like a bad friend for, or something. But anyhow, um, let's see there. All right, Tim. Oh, wait yeah. a minute. I got somebody else. Who uh, God is alive. Um, hey, Nick. Uh, this is Cameron Carter. Cameron. So I was wondering, so is the price monthly, the 619, yes. is that monthly? Yes. Okay. okay I'm going to give you some numbers here, okay? So, uh, I say, so we start with 619. If we get 80 leads a month divided by 80, you're at $7.73 a month in lead cost. Okay. okay. I mean... If, you, if your telemarketer does more, which many do, you know, so if we're at 619 divided by, let's say it's 120 leads a month you're getting, that's $5.15 you're paying per lead. And that's very attainable, very, very yeah. attainable. But listen, we're not, I'm not, I'm just saying, you have to work with them, Cameron, you know, you have to work okay. with them. I appreciate it. Sure, sure. So this is a reasonable, and that's why I, Again, I'm repeating myself, but I pre-qualified this conversation, this whole webinar by saying these aren't bad leads at just cheap leads. No, they're, these are good leads, you know, um, and that's, that's all there is to it. And they're inexpensive, that's all. So, all right. Oh, Jerry, how are you? I need to unmute. I'm good, Nick. How are you? I am wonderful. Great. I had an agent. It was a guy. His name was Jerry Taylor. I worked with for years. And, um, but anyhow, I saw Jerry Taylor pop up and I was like, wait a minute. It's spelled wrong. <laughs> it's me. Yes. Yes. And I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Question. Um, you may have answered this already, but what's the average, um, what's the, how many leads are they producing on a regular basis? Uh, again, guarantee for a minimum. I'd say the average, Tim, would you give me an average where we're at? I, Tim, I, you're muted. Uh, the, the lead count, the average? No, okay, so Jerry asks yeah. if, if there's an average. I say four is the minimum, yeah. but do, do you have an average? Tim is more hands-on on a daily basis. That's why I ask him. Yeah, I would say um, six. Six to eight would be the average. We, uh, well, that's a big spread, Tim. I want to say six. Six, six would probably be a safe, a safe yeah. number. Anywhere between four and eight would be, would be the average. And this yeah. is per work day? Per, day? per work day, yes. Wow, I totally see value in this. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's 12.57. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Tim, uh, well, first of all, we're going to send out a link where you guys can sign up and you get $100 off.